Hello, friends, and welcome to the new episode of r slash I don't work here, lady. Today, we have three more news stories for you. And in this episode, you'll see a nice story about a lady that was putting up a fight over every little part of her transaction, then freaks out. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a new video every single day. Let's get started. Woman offended when I said sorry about the wait to person behind her. When I was 17, I worked at a small pet store where there were usually only one or two people working at a time. The store was franchised and was recently sold back to corporate, which is when I started working there. The franchisees did nothing properly, which caused a lot of problems for us. One of the things we offered were frequent buyer programs for different pet foods. For these programs, we had to keep the barcodes or receipts from each bag or case of cans purchased, and we had to have the customer's name and address since their free bag coupon was sent to them in the mail. For this story, I'll be M, and the crazy woman will be CW. So CW comes up with a big case of cans of dog food. CW, I'd like to add this to my frequent buyer card. M, after looking through cards. Sorry, I don't seem to have one for you. You may have redeemed your last one. I'll start you a new one, and you just need to fill out your name and address. CW, why do you need that information? They didn't need it last time. M, well, the company won't be able to send you your coupon without this information. She huffs and fills it out. Because she's buying a case of cans, I have to take a copy of her receipt. After she finishes paying for her purchase, I try to photocopy her receipt. CW, what do you think you're doing? M, I need proof of purchase for the program. CW. Well, they never needed that before. That's taking my personal information. What if somebody steals it and gets my information? It goes on like this for a while. She finally huffs again and lets me photocopy her receipt, and I give her her original back. I'm the only one working in the store at the time, and a line is developed behind her. She starts loading her case of cans into one of our small store carts. We have a policy where we don't let the carts leave the store because, since I'm the only one working, I can't be searching the massive parking lot later for the carts when people inevitably leave them lying around. We do offer to help people out with purchases they can't carry easily. Takes less time than searching for missing carts. I tell her this policy. CW. Well, they always let me before. M. I'm sorry, but it's store policy. I'd be happy to help you out with your purchase. CW. What? Do you think I won't take the cart back or something? Besides, you have a line for me. Which is partially her fault. At this point, I'm so tired of dealing with this woman that I just let her go with the cart. As she finishes loading it up, I start helping the man behind her. When he comes up to the till, I say, sorry about the wait. Since, as you can guess, he'd been waiting for quite some time. CW. Excuse me? How dare you say that? I'm your customer. And when I'm at the till, you should be taking care of me and I'm allowed to take as much time as I want. I'm absolutely floored by this. Saying sorry about the wait is a pretty common practice. I just stare at her for a moment and say, I'm sorry, but I did take the time to serve you. He was waiting for a while, so it's common courtesy to say sorry. At this point, she of course asked for my manager's name and phone number, saying something about how she's going to get me fired. She storms out with her cart and I keep helping the man. He calls her a B-word and tells me not to worry about it. She then comes back, throws open the store door, and tosses in the cart. She keeps the door open long enough to say, See, I told you I'd bring it back, then storms off and slams the door behind her. Sure enough, my manager never heard from her. Customer, I'm never coming back here again. Every retail worker ever. Okay. And a big smile. And our second story. Give me your name and corporate's number. So this happened recently. I was covering the return counter since the front end lead called out and the other managers magically disappeared. One hour in, I'd already had some rude customers, but this next one took the cake. I was counting the front end money when I heard a crash. I look up and an old man had just slammed his cart into a display of popcorn in giant tin cans, causing it to fall over. Instead of picking it up, he just kicked the mess out of his way and pushed his cart towards me. I'll be me, and he'll be OM. OM, hurry up and return this, he said as he threw a hose on my counter. Me, sure, I'll just need your receipt. OM, well, grab it. I notice it in his cart. 
We have a large counter between us, and the cart is a couple feet behind him. I walk out and around the counter just to get the receipt. As I come back to my till, I scan the receipt, and it comes up 70 days past the original 30. Me. I'm sorry, but I can't return this item. The return policy is 30 days, and you're 78 days past that. OM. Well, override it then, B-word. Me. No can do. We don't have that option. We used to, but corporate took that option away from us about three years ago. OM. What the F do you mean? The store in 70 miles from us does it all the time. Me. Well, if they're doing that, that's against policy. They're not supposed to. OM. Well, F you. I know you can. Give me your phone number and name. So I write down my first name and corporate's number. OM. God, you're stupid. I need your last name. I didn't ask you for corporate's number. I asked for yours. At this point, I'm done with this man. So I drop the smile. Me. Well, you're not going to get that. You don't need my number and you don't need my last name. OM. How dare you not give me what I asked for? Corporate's going to fire you when I call him. You just wait. Me. Go ahead. Tell corporate I did my job. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear that. OM. I want to speak to the manager. Me. You are. That's me. Now, if you excuse me, can you please leave the store? I need to email corporate the video feed of you knocking down the display and kicking it aside, damaging a lot of our merchandise, and then cussing me out. OM. But, but, but. Me. Nope. No more from you. Leave or I'll have security escort you out. OM. They can't force me out. Me. Police it is. I picked up the phone and the old man rushed out. Turns out he's a regular that's always causing problems for the front end. I got the okay from corporate to get LP to ban him from the store. Shame there's no you break it, you buy it policy in big corporate stores. And our next story. But the customer always comes first. First off, this is my first post. I'm also writing this up on my phone, so I'm sorry if this is a little awkward to read. With that out of the way, I work customer service at a mostly apparel-based department store. This means I mostly focus on doing returns, exchanges, and when a customer puts something on hold, they see us to get it. We usually are pretty lenient with store policy and our managers tell us we can do pretty much anything it takes to make a customer happy. But some people just want way too damn much. Since our sales are generally short, we don't carry a lot of inventory for specific items. Of course, when they're gone, we're more than happy to write you a rain check, check other stores, or we can order it in the random kiosks in-store, so they can mail it to your house for free, but customers aren't usually satisfied with these options. More recently, we had a dish set that went on sale and was pretty popular, so the night before the sale ended, we ran out. Like usual, the customer was sent to us so we could try to satisfy the issue. They waited in a short line, and the following happened. Me. Hi, how can I help you today? Entitled customer. Yes, you can help me. I came here for these dishes. Threw the flyer at me. But the lazy guy in the home department said you were sold out before he even checked. Me. Oh, okay. I know those dishes have been selling really well, so we probably are out, but I'd be more than happy to check on our computer for you. I walked over to check the mainframe, aka the computer from hell, to check if we did have some, even though I knew that if a certain coworker said we didn't have any, then we didn't have any. Of course, we didn't have any. So I went and told the customer. He was not happy. I told him the options we had available, and he insisted that he needed the plates right away, so I needed to check what stores have them. So I went off on my merry way back to the computer, that's when he noticed the hold section that was behind the counter and sitting there was the plates that he was having his conniption over. EC. Hey, isn't that them? Me. Yes, that is them, but unfortunately they're on hold for another customer, so I can't sell them to you. EC. What are you talking about? They're here so I can have them. Me. I'm sorry, but like I said, someone already claimed them. EC. I bet they aren't even on hold. You're lying to me to cover up for the idiot who wouldn't look for them. At this point, I was getting pretty annoyed because I had a long line of people and this guy was causing a scene. I lifted up the hold tag, which had no personal information other than first name, and showed it to the customer. However, he then noticed the words associate hold on top of the paper. EC. Ha! It's not even a customer who put it on hold. It's someone who works here. So now you have to sell it to me. I'm sorry. They still would be paying for it, so they are still a customer in this situation. EC. But I am the customer. I come before the employees, so you will sell it to me. 
Naturally, his screaming attracted a lot of attention, particularly our head of loss prevention, who enjoys dealing with this kind of situation. She usually watches from afar for a minute just to get a grasp of the problem, which is easy for her to do because she dresses in jeans and a t-shirt so people don't suspect her of much. Also, I noticed after that she was the person who'd put the plates on hold to begin with. Me. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I really can't do anything. Once someone puts an item on hold, it's theirs. Now, I'd be happy to continue checking other stores for you. EC. No, I'm not driving all the way to another store to get plates that are right effing there. So give them to me now. And I want a discount for having to deal with you and all the stupid people who work here. Thankfully, at that moment, my LP came over to control the situation. What's the problem over here? EC. Who the F are you? I'm the head of loss prevention here, and if you don't watch your mouth, I'm going to kick you out of my store. I will not watch my mouth. I want my effing plates. Well, they already told you that she would not sell you those plates, so you need to leave now. I will not effing leave now. You don't control me. LP then proceeded to get her phone out of her pocket and pulled up the local police department and showed it to EC. If you don't leave now, I'm going to call the police and have you escorted out of the building. Fine. Wasn't that good of a deal anyway. And with that, he left. Hey guys, thank you all for watching the video to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.